Hello guys, good day and welcome again for another episode of my channel. Okay, for today's video, I will be showing you a new machine that is uh, used for a sugar monitoring called HV1C. Okay, so uh, let's get it on. So this is the machine, as you can see, it's a Kulab, uh, Kulab, Kulab. Okay, it's a uh, from EKF Diagnostic. Okay, and uh, before we are using this machine, it's the CS4000 made by the Green Cross Medical Science. It's a very good machine, and unfortunately, there's a scarcity of reagent that's why this machine is uh you know standby mode and uh they uh, get another machine we use for a uh, sugar monitoring this hb1c this is the colab okay so we will see this is our uh, or these are the, what's inside the box okay this is the unit and then the what do you call this one barcode reader and then we will open this one. So here's what's inside the box. Of course, what's this one? Uh, okay, the tips for the blood collector. Colab A1C sampling sticks. And of course, the manual of this machine. And so two four. So these are the reagents put in vial. So 25 pieces in one box, there are two boxes, so 50 pieces. Okay, so we will try to run one patient, or rather, I will get blood for myself to run one sample in this machine. Okay. By the way, we can uh, you can use samples in uh, by pricking or by venous blood collected in EDTA. Okay, so what will I do now is by venous. I don't like in prick <laughs> because prick is very painful. So better this uh, venous blood. Okay, I will collect blood first. Okay. Okay. Hello, guys. So uh, now I have already uh, blood sample here extracted from Venus. Okay, so this is my own blood. I will test if uh, how much my HB1C. Since I don't know my HB1C, so we will test in this machine. Okay, so a sample ready, and then cartridge. And then we will get this uh, tip. Okay, we will start first. We have to, as you can see here, cal for calibration of the machine. So just place the barcode reader and then press this one. And then, as you can see, data accepted. And then we remove this cartridge. place this cartridge in this one and 
and then you just see this tip you just press this ball rehydrating agent insert sample and close door so what I do is I get sample from this one and then put here and then okay and then I will put in this one and then close okay why I put here because see this one this tip if you get direct from the tube it's not really appropriate to get from uh, to get the blood or the sample direct from the tube better to do like this one and then suck and then don't even wipe for example you already get a blood sample from this one and then don't wipe the tip okay just direct it to the cartridge and then so the reading for this one is uh, it takes about and regarding also this uh, the blood sample approximately 10 to 20 microliters only okay so very small amount so the one that I put here that's too many so I just and for better uh, or an accurate um, blood sample just this one and then just make it from the tip okay don't make it like this one don't make like this one so that no excess just make it straight like this one and then direct to the cartridge okay so we will wait for the result I hope my result is normal but definitely that's normal because I don't have any history of a high sugar and also I just want to add this cartridge for example if you already remove the foil this should be used within one minute only excess from one minute the cartridge is not uh, been used okay and then be careful of the ball if the beads or the ball I will show you after this one so my HB1C as you can see it's 5.4 okay and in milligram per DL 108.9 okay uh, 5.4 DC CT so okay HB1C is normal so that's how uh, HB1C process in this machine okay so it's very easy and very convenient to use but if you are doing this one you have to focus don't do other thing okay for example you are doing uh, complete blood count uh, you are doing urinalysis no just focus on the hb1c process only okay because if you are late and then you open already the you open already this one and then you just leave it like uh, maybe for how many minutes and then uh, no that's not uh, the result may be not good because it may uh, alter the results Okay, because at, as it said in the manual, if the cartridge is already open or, or remove this uh, foil, it should be run within one minute. Okay, so guys, this is the Colab by EKF Diagnostic, and it's very uh, see very convenient to use. Okay, but. Uh, I don't know how much this one. 
I don't know what's how much the price or I don't know. So So hello guys, that's it. So that is how uh, to process blood sample in this machine, okay? From Kowalab. Okay? So it's very easy and then it's very convenient also to use this machine and uh, so definitely I process my own blood and uh, see my result of HbA1c okay this is my first time to run my HbA1c with the new machine okay so it's normal so it's good because I am not diabetic so definitely my result is good because this one this machine is also even this machine also uh, this is very good for detecting or for monitoring uh, sugar especially for a diabetic patient okay and in laboratory this is very convenient for us even this one also but unfortunately we don't have the agent for this one okay so uh, guys that's it for today's vlog I hope you enjoy watching and uh, with this machine demonstrating the new machine okay so thank you for watching again and uh, please do consider to subscribe also okay like and comment down below okay so thank you guys for watching i hope you have a good day and god bless everyone okay bye bye